Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we got Marvel Legends Infinite Series, Marvel's War Machine. This is from the Hulkbuster Wave, and uh, this figure couldn't have happened and gotten to my hands if it wasn't thanks to M. Andre Smith, a.k.a. Crooked Mark. His YouTube channel link is down below, so definitely check him out. Show him some love. Uh, he reviews some uh, different types of figures. Uh, some Star Wars, some artistic style of uh, vinyl figures and things like that. So definitely check his channel out below. Now, War Machine comes in that typical uh, box. This normally isn't on here. He picked it up at a comic shop for me. Um, has the Avengers A. War Machine on this side. War Machine on this side. A little bit of info. So let's go ahead and get War Machine out of his package. War Machine looks amazing out of the package. Um, he does come with the Hulkbuster head from the Build-A-Figure. This is a Build-A-Figure I'm not going to build because I don't really care for the line uh, figures that come with the rest of these pieces. So I'll just end up putting this into my miscellaneous bin of Build-A-Figure parts that I don't use. Uh, another accessory that he does come with, which is awesome, is the open-faced War Machine helmet. Showing off that James Rhodes uh, face. And honestly, that, that sculpt looks awesome. Like, for this being an older figure, not with that newer technology they're using, you know, the sculpt is pretty solid. Pupils don't look too bad. But I really love that open helmet look and I need to get the Iron Man one that has that because that would be so awesome now the figure itself um, it has its pluses and it has its minuses um, I know a lot of people like the uh, two-pack that came with like disco Iron Man and the War Machine two-pack because it comes with a bunch of accessories this one lacking a little bit of accessories but the sculpt and the plastic they use just is really nice um, as you can see the head sculpt is really on point he has they added that nice red eyeliner around the white eyes to make them pop and look sort of glowing red um the figure is just cool i mean i needed a war machine this is my official first war machine and uh head articulation he does look that far down and Looking up, that's as far as he can do. Like, he's sort of restricted there in his suit of armor. Um, I really like the the decals that they put on here. And these aren't stickers. So you got the Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. All that stuff. The little star right there. Just scream, sort of military. And his shoulder pads do sort of move up a little bit. And accessory-wise, besides that alternate head, he does come with a plasma cannon on the back. And just to show you guys, this does come out and you can plug it in either of those holes. So they give you options to swap it. That's great. But one thing I'm not a fan of is it's limited articulation. So this part right here is locked in. So to get it angled, you have to sort of rotate it like so. And then the articulation starts where right here where this will come up over the shoulder. And I mean, you can move it up forward and stuff like that, and it does swivel. So it's it's still pretty cool. Um, I just wish it was like a minigun or something. Like, this is straight up a Predator, like, plasma cannon. And, like, me, War Machine, I, I grew up with War Machine, having, like, miniguns and rockets and all that stuff, hand cannons. Like, he's War Machine for a reason. Like, he's loaded... With weaponry, and we get a single plasma cannon. That's that's a disappointing factor of this figure. Um, some bonuses again. Uh, the plastic they use has like a little bit of glitter or something in it. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Um, let's see, the light hits it, gives it a nice little sheen to it. And the back of the figure looks really cool too. So sculpt wise, it, it's a pretty. Pretty cool sculpt. Arm articulation, both sides go up. 
and you get the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation, and you get a wrist bend. So same on the other side, I'm not going to show the other side. His torso is limited, doesn't really get much of a crunch or rotation. Very stiff, feels like if I twisted him too much he'd break. No waist rotation. I love this silver they used and stuff, it looks really cool there. Uh, he can do crazy splits. He cannot Spartan kick at all, like this is standing straight up, this is him doing a Spartan kick. Only way, since this is on a ball joint, and you can see why he can't do the Spartan kick, because this chunk right here hits this piece. So it's that's what's restricting. So if you rotate, you can do an awkward sideways Spartan kick. But as we have the leg up sideways, you can see double jointed knees. Love how the knee pad looks. And as for the ankles and calf, no pivoting. Uh, it shows that it should be able to bend the ankle upward, but it's restricted because this piece is hitting this piece right there. So really there's no pivoting or bends. Very disappointing in that aspect, but I can let it pass because it is a iron suit body. So like he's in armor, so I wouldn't think that he would have Spider-Man articulation. But I would expect him to have an arsenal by being named War Machine. You know, that's that's the biggest thing. But uh, let's, let me get this cannon off here. It's sort of bugging me. Pop that head off. This head sculpt was the most difficult alternative head to put on. Like, I thought I was going to break the figure. Um, and I noticed as handling the figure, the plastic they use sort of adds like an oily feel to my hands. It's weird. I don't know. It's just because it's a very glossy plastic, but it definitely my hands feel a little slippery and oily because of it. But with this head on, as it's all blurry, there we go. You get the full same articulation. You know, you can look down, limited on looking up. But uh, not bad. You know, not bad at all. I can put this on its back. Looking pretty awesome. Looking pretty awesome. Now it's comparison time. We have Iron Skull next to War Machine. Looking pretty awesome. Has very similar designs. Then you got, take these effects off there, his hands. Then you got Iron Man, being all close and buddy-buddy. Looks like he's touching his butt, actually. Um, so these three looking very, very cool together. And then I'm going to throw in oops, some of those effects there. My KO of the Mark 47. And sort of put him... The Mark 47, the KO actually, <laughs> it actually stands up taller. But uh, these are all my Iron Men. Um, got Tony Stark Rhodes and then the other Tony Stark, which could be just empty armor based off the Homecoming movie. And then you have Red Skull. So definitely love the War Machine. I'm glad I have him part of the package. I still want to get that two pack, um, but I just want to get it at that Ross price. So that is my review of the Marvel Legends War Machine from the Hulkbuster Wave. If you like what you saw, add a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Most importantly, thank you for watching. Good luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.